Okay, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Um, so, for new subscribers, my name is Bodie. Look at that, I'm doing what, I, what a good channel runner should do. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this is my uh, Steel 400C, and I am running it every chance I get because I'm wanting it to break in. So, first up here, this is a very typical chain. Um, it is the county line, which is, it's made in China, you know, but you can get it at Tractor Supply. I think that it's, uh, I think that it's, what is it, IF, ILC or something like that, the actual brand of this. But it's the same, um, it has those like three circles on the, on the uh, cutters. It's a little, little like trademark thing or whatever, but um, it's the same uh, chain that you can buy at Home Depot as their, I think they call it Power Cut or Power Match. I can't remember, but, um, but it's, it's, it's just a common, plain old, full chisel, uh, full comp, three eighths, uh, round file chain that I have filed myself. Now, I filed this myself and it has a particularly aggressive rakers. Uh, the rakers, I dropped them down a little bit too low, but the thing's pulling it pretty good. And in a cross cut like this, it should, it should, should cut pretty good, you know, pretty fast. We're already warmed up and had the first cut and the, and the M-Tronic is tuned. We're good. <laughs> Okay, and with these cuts, we are measuring the chain, not the saw. So what we're gonna be doing is just like that, an easy glide down the shaft, how fast will it cut? I'm not doing more than one cut per chain because I want this log to last as long as possible. One cut is gonna to have to cut it. Next up, we will use the reigning champion, the out of the box. Husqvarna C83. Now this chain is not 100% out of the box. It has a few cuts on it, but it's still plenty sharp. It's a good chain. But you know, I mean, for the price difference, stuff like this, Archer, you know, like this would be extremely equivalent to Archer chain, I think, you know? I just don't see, I don't know, the, the life expectancy, if you're a pro cutter, the life expectancy of your Oregon steel, Husqvarna chains, they're a lot harder steel, and so they, they do last significantly longer. Come on now. So what, what I was getting at is, I don't know if the value of this chain and how, fa how much faster it may cut, I don't know how worth it it is because you get a really good deal on those um, cheaper chains, you know? Like that tractor supply chain, it cuts good. You know, I ain't, I have no uh, problems with it. Is it the fastest? No. Would I run that whenever I was going to try and outrun somebody? No. But works just fine all right here we go Husqvarna C83 
So much smoother. Wow. Very nice, smooth chain. That right there was, uh, I mean, I admittedly have my rakers too low on that county line chain, you know, and you can feel it. But it's more than that. These things are sharp from the factory. The C83s, they cut so well. So the rakers was good, are good. And the cutters, they're just getting the job done, you know? They really do. So now, this is an Oregon EXL that has been square filed by a moderately experienced filer. I don't know if I'd even say moderately. He might call himself a beginner, um, but I know he's pretty new to the square filing game. So there you have it. They look nice. Let me show you. Come on, zoom. There we go. Can you get something on that? It's definitely very early. It looks like he took a brand new chain. This is Steve, uh, Steve McDowell. God, I hope I'm getting the name right. I, I screw up people's names all the time. I'm the worst. But uh, he filed this for me for the channel. So thank you, Steve. So that we could do these testings. So what this is going to represent is what you could expect if you started square filing your chains whenever you finally got a pretty good beat on things. You know, you're like, I think I got this. This is pretty good. You know, that's what this right here is going to represent. How fast will it cut? Good. It does appear that he took nothing off of the rakers. So we'll see. Last time I ran a square ground, ground chain, it was right out of the box and nothing was removed th from the rakers and it cut slow as a pig. Feels good, again, with the nice smooth feeling. You know, it, it had something different going on. Uh, whoa, 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 hey, hey. You know, I could feel just a tiny bit of something going on, like a, maybe a, a chatter or something, but the smallest amount, man, I, smallest, it was, it felt good. But it also felt like it should have the rakers taken down. So. And final. This was made for me by Gary Buxton. Gary Buxton is going to represent the guy that knows what the hell he's doing when cutting a square file chain <laughs> and pretty much everything else, you know. He can really pour the saw up nice as well.
So this one is not hand filed. This is machine filed. I believe he has a Symington, which is about a $1,500 machine, I think. I think. I don't know. All I'm really doing is saying stuff that I think I remember reading on a face group, Facebook post or something like that. So, we're going to see how this baby runs. Pulls, cuts, whatever. Mm, tightening up for some reason. There we go. All right. Okay guys, so there's clearly such a minuscule difference between uh, these. So, <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, don't even, I, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, it's... Uh <laughs> so, whenever I did them individually, uh, the counting line got it in 14.15 seconds. The... Uh, Machine ground from Gary Buxton uh, square file got it in uh, 1405. So that's a tenth of a second faster than my county line hand filed. And I'm not that good of a filer. I, at least I don't think that I am. Right? Um, then the next up is the hand square file by Steve, and uh, that was at 1313. So we're right at a full second faster than my county line square filed. And then there's the C83, which again comes out on top. But now that was all individual cuts whenever. The thir the C eighty three individual I got it at thirteen oh three, uh, and that's you know I'm doing the very very best most honest I can okay and and even in this editing software I can't get it perfect because whenever I put them all together uh, I can match them up better and get a more accurate time and man you have you see right there the uh, machine square file that gary buxton did it feels great that's why i went ahead and I, I did another cut with it now obviously whenever i was pushing it through it got a lot faster um would the other ones have gotten faster if i pushed them through maybe maybe not i don't know i can't i can't test every single vari variable so um but the difference between them is so minuscule and now that county line out of the box shoot it's like four or five seconds slower than the c83 maybe i, I can't remember it was a lot it was a, it was way slower than the uh, c83 straight out of the box but once i put them up my hand file filing on it boy that made a huge difference so a lot of a lot of 
talk happens with the square file and stuff like that and the only way to get this stuff right on par is to do it yourself guys that's what i that's my takeaway with this because those square files i know that they're have potential to be faster than that c83 um but what it would take is it would take you know going back and cutting those rakers down further so like gary he asked me he's like what are you going to be running i told him it was going to be my john's red 2258 and uh but he did say that he he's like i'll set it up for what i use on my on my uh steel 400s but anyways but maybe he was like i don't know he's only running the 2258 so i'll leave the records a little high i don't know i can't get inside and in his head and know everything that happened but clearly like um on both of those square files, you can come down further on the rakers. But you don't know that until you put it in the wood that you're cutting. So, you know, you, you have to sharpen yourself. Because the one that I sharpened, I took the rakers way down. And it's cutting good. I mean, it cut just as good. There's... Uh, a fourteenth, no, no, a fourth of a second, not a quarter, like point zero four percent of a second slower than Gary Buxton's machine square file. <laughs> That's pretty wild. I mean, you know, my takeaway from this is learn how to file a chain and file it on your own and. You know, if you like cutting with the uh, cheap chains, cut with them. You know, the only thing that I got to say against the negative, against the uh, chains that are made in China, you know, they use a softer metal, and that means they dull faster. That's it. But it's not that bad. It's not like they dull super fast. They're, they still hold an edge pretty good, you know. I mean... I'll be damned that, that <laughs> it cut good, you know. Even the C83, you know, from my experience, I have not found anything that cuts faster than a C83 that's had just a few stri swipes off of the rakers. That's the fastest cutting chain I've ever had, still to this day. I mean... Other ones feel faster. Like that one that Gary did, it felt faster. It was so smooth. Just cut like butter. It was so nice. But it didn't cut faster. <laughs> the, the, the C83 beat it by an entire second. Wow. Right? That, that's that's freaking phenomenal. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. But uh, it is, I mean, I'm not making this stuff up. Testing it to the best of my abilities. You know? That C83 is hard to beat. Hard to beat. So, yeah. Please, if there's somebody that can make me a chain to cut this red oak. I ain't cutting pine here, guys. Almost every single thing that I cut is red oak. Right? So... If you can make a chain that's significantly faster than the C83. And, you know, we're talking too, you know, I can make that C83 faster than it is in the box just by taking some off of the rakers. Okay? So if you can get it legitimately faster than the C83, I would love to get one of those chains in my hands. Because... From what I've seen, I mean, geez. I mean, that's a square ground chain. You know, the one that Gary did on a Symington. And it's tied with my county line chain that I filed by hand. That's crazy. That's crazy. Then we've got the hand square file from a noob, you know. I mean, seriously, Steve, I met you in person. You're a cool guy, but you know it. 
you are new to this square ground square grind dealio how in the heck did your never you didn't even touch the rakers dude and yours beat the the chain that was uh made on the fifteen hundred dollar simington i don't know the, these results are really odd and weird so um i'll go ahead and separate this video out what what happened was i i talked a lot about the ms 400 and so i'm going to have to make two different videos of that this one right here is long enough with just the chain testing and i'll make the uh uh thoughts on the ms 400 in a i'll make it a separate video but anyways this has been your chain race video and i hope you enjoyed it it's i can't believe the outcome i thought for sure for sure that that uh, really nice chain that gary buxton did was going to just whoosh, wipe the floor with everything totally didn't i mean i'm sure i could go back and i could hit those rakers further but man he took those rakers down you can look at that chain. Those records are down. And it pulled so smooth, it cut nice. It really cut nice. Both of the square grind chains cut nice, but so did the C83. One thing that did not cut nice was the county line that I did. It didn't, but cut pretty fast. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's enough, that's enough. Later.